Okay, we're gonna use this video to give you an up close look at this magnificent, heavily carved black forest cuckoo clock. And we have owned uh, lots of these huge monster cuckoos over the years, but this is by far uh, the largest example that we have ever owned. And this model is shown in uh, several of the makers catalogs that we have in our archives. Uh, Gordian Heddick's son, Philip Hassan's son, uh, and several others. And this model uh, here with the music in this big carved case represents the pinnacle of their offerings. Uh, in fact, around the turn of the century, uh, we have several original price sheets. And this clock would have sold for about $600, which was an absolute huge sum uh, at that time. Uh, just to give you an idea of the proportions of this clock, it's hard to capture in a video. Uh, this clock measures a full five feet. Uh, that does not include the weights or chains, so that's all clock. That measurement is taken uh, from the bottom firm carvings at the base. Uh, and then it ends uh, at the pediment top with the uh, life-size grouse with his tail feathers. And we get quite a few five foot cuckoos. Most are hunters where they have dead animals on them. Uh, this is a romantic motif. All the animals are alive. Uh, they're in motion. And the romantic motifs are much rarer than the hunter motifs. Also, when we say we have a five foot hunter cuckoo, uh, that clock's going to range uh, in the low 50 inches, sometimes you hit 60 inches, but they have a large stag on the top with antlers, uh, and those antlers uh, are taken into that, that measurement. And so this clock being 5 feet, uh, that's all clock. There's no antlers or little tips that extend up adding to that height. You can see the clock's just massive. Uh, the measurement across the pediment is a full 3 feet. Uh, that's from this point here. Uh, all the way across the pediment to this point here, uh, that's three feet across. You can also see the carvings are done in layers, which is very unusual. Normally on a big cuckoo, you have a front carving piece that's applied uh, to the front of the case. Uh, this clock's different. It has, uh, let's see, one, two, uh, three layers of carving. So you have some carved leaves that are permanently attached to the case itself. Uh, then you have this front carving here. Uh, that applies to the front panel overlaying these leaves. Uh, and then you have another layer here with these pine trees you can see that actually extend out, uh, providing another layer. We have mushrooms, you have this hound that's attacking the stag head on. Uh, the dial measures a full 11 inches uh, across that dial. Uh, the dial has a carved center. It has enamel cartouches that are set in these delicate embossed brass bezels. See the clusters of acorns uh, that adorn the case all over. And another thing is all the carvings on this clock are done in walnut. So there's no linden wood, there's no soft wood. Uh, it is all hardwood and this is a very heavy clock. So when collectors today are looking for these magnificent uh, large cuckoos, uh, this clock has everything that they're looking for. It's romantic in the motif, it's carved in hardwood, it's an absolute huge size, it has a music box that plays after the cuckoo call. We'll set it off here so you can uh, see and hear it in action. After the cuckoo call has a nice wood plump cuckoo, uh, the music box activates and it fills the room full of music. And as the music plays, there's a man seated in a chair, open the door here, holding a zither. Uh, very traditional for these uh, late 
uh, 19th century uh, Black Horse Cuckoo Clocks. We are always looking to acquire clocks like these shown in our YouTube videos. You can also visit our website, which is blackforestclocks.org. And we specialize uh, in the acquisition, the sale, and the restoration of uh, magnificent antique Black Forest clocks.